All right, Coach, I'll kick things off. Um, what do you have to say about your, uh, your senior class and, uh, you know, how emotional is it for you right now? It's tough. Um, oof. Um, yeah, it's a, I just can't thank them enough, um, you know, for, for everything, really. I mean, I like that. Knows, that's a very broad word, everything. But, um, you know, Caitlin – being around here after surgery, um, beautiful piece, by the way. Thank you for that. That was beautiful. Um, but like, you know, it, just the kind of the kind of young women that you want to be around all the time. Um, I think Abby was my first Zoom call as assistant coach. I think JT was my first phone call as an assistant coach to 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 kids out of the portal. Um, and to think that they, they both committed here without taking a visit just from Zoom call and our phone conversations um, with them under I, obviously I was their coach bef faster than than originally planned but you know I think from our conversations you know I, I think you know they committed to, to play here for an extra two years um, with me and, and for it to turn into three um, I'm just you know ever grateful really I I, I it's going to be really, really strange walking into practice and not seeing 23, 10, and 34 out there. I mean, you you watered this garden, this scene, this group of players who were transfers who came to, to your program, sort of unfamiliar with the Boilermaker tradition at first, and then they had to, you know, come in and help these freshmen out along. So to, to kind of watch what was happening both from afar and, you know, at practice every day, what made it special and... Uh, just, just who they are, um, like who Janae Terry is as a as a human being, who Abby Ellis is as a as a as a human being, who Caitlin is. Um, you know, they're, I'm am just telling you, they're just they're they're people you want to be around. Um, you know, we were talking in the locker room. Uh, I don't know when, um, but we're gonna we're gonna be really good, um, and in a watching the men get to the final four and, and seeing all their former former players there and, and, and watching that. Um, I know Abby and Caitlin and Janae will be the same exact way that Robbie Hummel was, that Ryan Smith was, that you know, that you saw all of that um, this past weekend with our guys team and and you know, they were here for three years but they they, they started to bleed Purdue. They started to bleed black and gold. Um, and they've just been unbelievable leaders uh, for our program and for this university, just great ambassadors. Um, and I couldn't be more proud of them. Coach, I ran into uh, one of your disciples, Jen Jenna Sullivan, who was, who was at the game tonight, and just, uh, you know, sort of talking about how, you know, during her first year when she played under you, you guys went 16 and 16. Next year, you, you win you know, the NAIA championship, if, if, if that, I'm telling that story correctly. Do, do, do you feel like, you know, that there's a way that you, you can kind of compare the experiences right now of what you went through, you know, at Marion and kind of now the, the pivot here, you think? Yeah, I think, obviously, I think a lot of things, um, you know, can translate there. Um, you know, uh, you know I, I think we, we had a group of a young, talented team back then that, that struggled for the first year or two, and then the third year just kind of all clicked. And, um, you know, I think that that's, you know, we've got we've got some young, talented pieces on our team. Uh, we've got we to put some more pieces around them and, and continue to build to get better and better. Um, but, you know, I, I obviously we lost the game tonight. Uh, but, it, you know, for about a month, we've had some really, really good practice, and we've gotten better. Um, I, I do think we got a little tight today um, down the stretch. Um, you know, in, in the close game, but um, I, I'm excited for, for our future. I'm excited to, for where we're, where I think we're going to go. Right. And last question out of me. I mean, this is a historic, uh, you know, time here. I mean, what's the thing that, you know, you're, you're kind of, you know, taking with what the men's side has been doing and, and, you know, kind of, you know, using it as a way to say, you know what? This, yeah. this well, first of all, I mean, I, I don't know that there's a single coach in the world that deserves to go to the Final Four more than, than Matt Painter does. Um, you know, you just think about the way 
ever, all the, the you know the teams that they've had that have been really close, um, and then something unfortunate happens. Um, what they went through last year, and to like he said, just to kind of sit in it, uh, but for them to to come back and, and be in the position where they are, uh, just no one no one deserves it more than that guy. Um, and you know, I, what's so great about the, our men's program is I hear a lot of like horror stories from other head coaches across the country where their their programs don't get along, or you know their head coach isn't you know they they kind of look down upon the women's program, and that doesn't happen here. Um, and that, that starts up top with Matt. Um, you know, obviously, Brandon and Terry and Paul and then Elliot, like, if the guys get it, we're going to get it. Um, and they won't ever make it anything different. So um, it's, you know, it's it's the best working alongside those guys. And uh, I hope they go finish this off in Phoenix. Uh, Coach, just two free throws in the first half, 20 in the second half. Is that an adjustment you made? Is that based off something you said at halftime? No, I think we just, you know, obviously they, I mean, they just kept packing it in on us, packing it in on us, packing it in on us. Um, you know, we go one for eight from the three. I thought we passed up some open shots that we probably should have taken. Um, you know, and, and it was just a matter of us just being a little bit more physical. You know, I think M.A. missed some at the rim. Abby missed some at the rim. I th I, honestly, I think that the, the game changed there in the second quarter in the first half when we just missed some, some layups at the rim that probably instead of going up at six at halftime, maybe we're up a little bit more and, um, we got a little bit more confidence um, because you knew Vermont was going to keep coming. You know that they were going to play really hard, and um, you know once they they had confidence, once they once they got it going. I mean, we, you could tell that the the basket was huge for us, and it just it just seemed like we just got a little tight down the stretch. Yep. You've touched on this the last three weeks or so, but you got bonus basketball yeah. this year yeah. in a in an abnormal year because they added another tournament. Right. You were able to get in one and get practice time. This is the value. Of these last three, 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 three weeks, and to mm -hmm. get three extra games, and how do how do you how do you use that now as you hit the off season and then start looking ahead to next year? Yeah, uh, well, we we we'll give them a couple weeks off here. Um, I think the NCAA tells me I have to, but uh, see if we can squeeze in a week or or two, just depending on the you know whenever, whenever dead week is and finals weeks, but. It, it, the the experience we got, you know, the extra practice, the the extra time in the gym, the extra watching film that that we would not have had. Um, it's 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 there's there there's no substitution for it. And then you throw in three, you know, three games, uh, a, a really good Butler team on the road, um, a Duquesne a Duquesne team that had won twenty something games, and then obviously a Vermont team that's got twenty five wins now. You know, this this is a great film for us to watch over the summer. Um, you know, time and score situations. Um, you know, the, the way Vermont scouted us, we've got to change the scout, right? Like if they're gonna they're gonna sink on Jayla, if they're gonna sink on on Spider, like we've got to change the scout. Um, if they're gonna sit on somebody's right hand, we got to make sure we're changing the scout in this, in, you know, in the summer. Um, and and that's what we got this last month. Um, po the, po I don't care what we're playing, we're trying to win. And uh, you know, our group they they were fun to be around the last month. It was it was it was a lot of fun.